I had a, um, a fantastic time when I lived in, in Madrid. The football was brilliant, but my life, um, just my private life with my wife and my friends and living in Madrid and the, the climate of, of Madrid and the lifestyle um, was a really happy moment of my life. The key factors was I was, um, I just, I'd been at Liverpool for 11 years and I wanted to, to well, to change. And I wanted, I didn't want to play for another team in, uh, in the Premier League. I wanted to play um, in a different country. I wanted to learn different things. I wanted to learn a new culture, a new language, a new, uh, live a new lifestyle. Um, and it was important for me, you know, to, to, to leave the city of Liverpool where I'd lived all my life. And uh, I wanted a change and a challenge. And, you know, I, I went to Madrid and, as I said, it was, um, it was the best decision I could make. I think you miss the most uh, of, are the fans when you win a game. The, you know, the, the reaction of the fans, the noise of the fans. If you are successful, you miss the happiness of um, lifting a trophy and making it, you know, how many fans Real Madrid have got around the city of Madrid? Hundreds of thousands. You miss all of that. So when you see them winning a trophy and you see them going to uh, Cibeles, you know, your, your memories come back and you, you miss all those moments. Um, what advice um, to enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the football. It's an incredible, incredible job. Um, you know, don't get too um, sad when you lose a game because it's important that you bounce back and win the next game. But mainly just to be just to be happy, just to just to play with a smile on your face and, and enjoy it because um, you know you are doing a job where you have hundreds of thousands, or even if you're Real Madrid or Liverpool now, you have hundred million fans across the world. So it's important that you do your best. Yeah, easy. My my father, my father was a, an absolute um, superstar. He watched me play every game when I was a young boy. Um, he gave me the right advice. He didn't shout. He doesn't, you know, scream or anything. But whenever he said anything after a football match, it was always the right advice. He's been with me, you know, all um, all of my life supporting me. You know, it was it was hard for him when I left to go to Spain because his wife had just died um, after a long illness. So that was very sad and hard for him. But he is um, he's been the biggest influence on on my life and all my football career. I supported a team called Everton when I was younger, and it would have been, um, when I was very young, it would have been a player called Duncan McKenzie, who played for Everton, and then it would have been the goal scorer, Bob Latchford, who was the, um, the number nine for Everton, so um, any of those players. Well, look, there was a number of players, and me being a player who played further forward, I would always pick a forward-thinking player, so I'd always pick a, a Zinedine Zidane or a, a Ronaldo or a... A, a Raul or Luis Figo because I played in those areas but I personally think for instance Roberto Carlos was the the greatest left back ever you know Fernando Hierro was one of the greatest centre defenders I've seen um, so it's very difficult picking the best player that's why um, you know I'll always go for the forward player and you know that's why I always choose Zinedine Zidane because you know you always you always need an answer the most underrated player probably the most important player in, in, in our team at the time was Claude Makaleli. Um, in, incredible football player, incredible football player. And um, he was the one player that made the team function, that made the team play well, that made all the superstars, you know, score all the goals and, and get all the headlines. But the most important player in the team was, um, was Claude Makaleli because he was the defensive midfielder and he was an exceptional footballer. Funniest teammates, we had a few actually. Um, Ivan Elguera was very funny, Ivan Campo was very funny. You know, the Brazilians, Roberto Carlos, Ronaldo, they were always, you know, very funny and always had a smile on the face. Michel Sagado was crazy. So we um we had a we had a lot of funny funny players in the team. I mean I scored some Good goals. I mean, the most important goal was, was the goal I scored in the Champions League final. That's the most important one. So you, and we, we went on to lift the trophy, so you would consider that the best. But visually, I've scored, I've scored better goals than, than the goal I scored in the Champions League.